Dr. Paresh Shah. I practice in Winnipeg, Canada. I've been practicing for 25 years and I also run a Seattle study club so I'm a co-director there and one of the GP co-directors. My practice tip for today is uh, just an idea about how to do some team training when you're implementing something different in your practice. I mean it's one of our biggest challenges. We're trying to incorporate a clinical procedure or a new protocol or new equipment or just some systems in place that we're trying to do and you know the resistance that you might get from certain staff that are like oh no not another thing. Well one of the things that I found we used a, uh, one of my past tips was on checklists so when I'm incorporating a new system in the practice I try and give practical examples. If it's not clinical, because clinical is easy because I can actually just give some science behind things, but if there are other business type systems, sometimes it's a little bit harder. And to get a person to perhaps read a book or an article sometimes is difficult. So here's my tip. I use a lot of TED Talks. And the TED Talks are anywhere from 15 to maximum 20 minutes. And there are in all different fields. I mean, you can find things on education, on business, on technology, on raising children. It doesn't really matter. But a lot of times what I do is I'll find a TED Talk or a couple of TED Talks that are suitable to the topic that I, in terms of what I want to implement. And I do that in a lunch and learn. And we listen to the TED Talk and then I introduce the concept that I want to do. For example, when I wanted to introduce checklists, uh, there's a TED talk by Dr. Atul Gawande and it was just around 18 or 19 minutes and I showed the TED talk, we talked about it, then I brought out the checklist. It was far more impactful. So leverage your tools that you have and there are a lot out there. Enjoy.